road safety as a pedestrian in the Philippines. Um, there's a strange thing here because there seems to be like when you hit the outside of a city, um, lawlessness seems to cut in. But I would say you'll find a lot of the traffic lights don't work um, or they work at specific times of the day. So be aware that not always are the traffic lights working but also you will find that some people who run the lights expect them to be off um, and then they're on and then you green light it and they're, they're coming around the bend anyway it's just normal there yeah, uh, the Philippines just has these things I don't know I don't know why they switch the lights on half the time and not others I have no idea um, because if they're going to cause congestion then they're the better off without the lights in the first place pedestrian crossings now in the west we're used to just like waiting at a crossing traffic stopping and we walk across civilized um, with the fact that the crossing the pedestrian has priority now in the Philippines legally you have priority here we have somebody trying to cross the road from the right hand side you can see nobody's slowing down somebody actually beeps their horn to turn and say I'm coming, I'm not stopping this is normal so my best advice is actually just ignore that there's a pedestrian crossing there um, best place to cross the road is actually at night is look for where the street lights are because they can actually see you um, also um, I know it's come up on the jeepney stuff about the robberies and things it's normally the late hours that people do robberies um, because they know there's less people about, less witnesses etc because um, I know there was a robbery in Minglenelia Market a few years back um, it resulted in the guy being captured by the market vendors and they gave him a beating but they were lucky the police got there that's why they're very unlikely to do this sort of stuff during the day um, because the um, Philippines does have some rough justice, let's put it that way. I've seen the same at um, Kisano Tabanuk where a guy had been stealing wing mirrors. And basically what happened is once he was caught, everybody had had their wing mirror stolen, had a free punch at his face before the police got there. Um, yeah, so <laughs> it's not like the West in many ways. Pedestrian crossings, they're there, but don't assume that it actually means anything. Um, make sure there's plenty of light, stay in the light where you can, and cross the road where it's safest. It's n <laughs> Although a lot of these laws exist in the Philippines, they're just not abided by and there's not enough um, local enforcement either so although we would love something to change it's not going to change in a short period of time Cebu City has slowly started moving um, more advanced um, you see traffic lights where they've got a countdown timer you've got traffic enforcers which are um, right on top of people um, for, for breaking laws violations relating to wearing helmets you know you, you've heard me say before about people taking their helmets off as, as soon as they leave the boundaries that's true because in the city you will get fined and they're looking for you you're easy prey you know you easy money um, so just be aware um, Cebu City itself or any metro city is going to be very different to the provinces. Provinces are still very lawless. Yeah. The way I, I sort of envision it is imagine a big castle. Inside the castle walls is completely different to once you get outside the, the front gate. Um, there's a lot more police etc inside the castle walls, outside the castle walls. Um, there may not be any police or anybody at all. And that's the way to envision these places. Now I'm not making it to be a terrible place to be but just to be aware that okay, just because you get somebody enforcing traffic crossing in the city somewhere 
when you go outside, don't just step into the roads. <laughs> it, it won't end nicely, let's put it that way.